in that kind of morning, but that's all right. We're ready to oh, go. They're fast and loose. The sus just stay in the background, mate. <laughs> Ball's thrown up here. Gilbert in the ruck. That man, Finlay Bine, tries to run onto it. Quick handball coming from Bomb Beach. Pressure's up already. McDonald, he just uses his body. Tackle applied on Mitch Gent, and we're going to get a stoppage. Really good one-handed pick-up from Michael West, wasn't it? Probably should have hit that target, but good start, clean hands. We're all feeling a bit safer now that Suss is at the back. Absolutely. Ball comes out. Jackson Casey, he goes by hand over to Mitch Gent, who in turn gives it to David Armitage. He goes on his left. He finds Sam Gilbert. Tackle applied by Manalizer. Going inside the forward 50 for Bomb Beach. Was trying to run onto it. It was Bailey Welsh for Manalizer. So it's a hot footy here at the moment, boys. Kick by Sullivan. They've gone out wide. They've found the player there in Murray. He goes in short looking for Trent Dennis Lane. It goes through his hands. Man, Eliza are going to be able to repel. They go out the far side. Although they've turned it over to David Armitage. Not the man you want to turn the ball over to, although his kick into the middle before was not great, which was dropped by Lachlan Williams, and they were able to repel, so... Is it just me, or is uh, the heart still just racing, boys, after the start? I tell you what, it's a, it a heart started with the caravan just going a little bit, and uh, the, heart, the hot start as Armitage, he wheels around on his left, goes for a bit of extra distance, but he pushes it to the far side, or the near side for us, the far side for him, and Bomb Beach get their first point on the board. Michael Voss. They certainly do. They're one point and Mandalizer zero and uh, David Armitage could sign for Bomb Beach early and for him a couple of early touches. Short pass and the mark's been taken. Yeah, I think that's by Tennant down there. He goes out towards the centre wing and the ball was knocked away from Jordan Captain. The ball goes over for a boundary throw in. Both teams have started well with the footy and not a terrible lot of defence going on early in this one but the longer the game goes on, the more important contested ball will be. Not your typical crowd to start with in finals, and I say and it's a good way because you've got Mount Eliza playing Bomb Beach, and basically right in the middle you've got Frankston, and you've got a decent crowd. Normally, the, the early finals, maybe not as big a crowd, but there's certainly a lot of people here this afternoon, and who's going to be the challenger to YCW next week in the second semi final? Stay with us right throughout the afternoon. As the ball's thrown back into play, it's taken out by Jordan Rouse. It was got the quick kick down the line. The mark has been taken, and it's been taken by McLean. He can play on for Bomb Beach. He goes in short. Mark taken by Mitch Gent. Gets the ball over, and now the ball comes in short towards between centre half forward and full forward. Bomb Beach doing the early attacking at the moment. Mount Eliza doing the early defending and doing it well. The kick comes out towards the player there in West. He dropped the mark. Still an opportunity for Mount Eliza to forward trying to get it up towards the wing area but it's going to come back potentially no it's going to be locked up in fact the umpire says ball it up Bomb Beach one behind Mount Eliza yet to score play three and a half minutes in the qualifying final of division one they just haven't finished off their good work Bond Beach Ben McLean now was a fantastic effort on the wing and going forward at the moment of Bomb Beach, but they're doing every other part of the game well, boys, and Michael West, he's had two disposals, and both of them have been off brilliant one-hand pickups. It's the luxury of having Sam Gild in the ruck against Jordan Rouse. He just uses his body work. He goes by hand over to Mitch Gent. Quick kick forward. Got the, the big bounce there. Bit like the uh, Kirtley Ambrose bouncer, uh, Vossi. <laughs> Mandalizer coming into the corridor, but they turn it over. The player there and right goes forward, but it's going to be turned over. Mandalizer are going to be able to repel. They go out wide. They've found the player there in O'Neill. One-on-ones ahead of the footy. Putting it out in front of Harrison Scott. He takes the mark. He's on the far side. He's going to enter the forward 50 for the first time for the red legs. But standing in the way for Bomb Beach was their captain in Jackson Casey. who got it up to Shane McDonald, the evergreen Shane McDonald. Kicked 5-4 last week. He's uh, further up the ground than that scoreline from last week would suggest. That's a horrific handball. Ball's come out wide to David Armitage. It just fell into his way. He goes on his left. That's a beautiful kick going in and finding Jack Sullivan for Bomb Beach. He just, just needs to go back and line up for their first. He's going to go in short. Oh. Oh, low, but it hasn't found the leading player. So Man are going to be able to repel through the far side. Out in front of Harrison Scott. Good body work there from Stenning. 
Balls being kicked off the ground, just getting some uh, metering down the line. The players look at the umpires, and we're going to get a throw in on the far side, about 50 metres out from the Manalizer goals, Michael Voss. Jack Sullivan does, should have gone back and had that shot, shouldn't he? Yeah, he absolutely should have. I don't mind him biting off that kick. you just got to hit the target. you just got to hit the target come finals time, so I'd be disappointed with that. And They've been good at repelling Manalizer. They've come to the far side of the ground on their both their occasions, so they'll be pretty happy with his start defence. They're holding up beautifully. Good signs for Bond Beach. Armitage getting his hands on the ball. Shane McDonald also Mitch Gent getting their hands on the ball early, which is uh, which is good for their their game right throughout the afternoon. We'd love to be keeping you updated with some AFL scores, but we don't have them because for some reason someone thought a pre-finals buy was a good idea. So Someone thought of 13, 13 changes. It's North Melbourne, I think Fremantle and a few other sides have done in the last game, which caused all this. Does it really matter, though? Yep. Does it really matter if they if they play a weak side in their last game? Any in the finals? I, I don't think so. The only, the, only thing you'd say, the only thing you'd say, it affects betting in the game. Oh. That's the only thing. Well, if, we're, if we're changing that for betting, then, wow. Yeah, we're Armitage in goes by hand over to Shane McDonald. Yeah, good he goes stopping. with a kick looking for Trent Dennis Lane. Mark not taken. Simmons, he comes away with it. He goes coming out to the far or to the near side for us, but it was a far side for him when he was coming out. Katkin, he's going to go by his left foot. Putting it on top of the head of Harrison Scott. He goes in a 2v1. Can't take the mark. O'Neill. He gets slung around. Goes by hand. Scott. Oh, right. He had the ball on the wing. Boys, he was on the east. He's left to come inside. That's magnificent work right here. Well, maybe this is a wake-up call. We've had five or six inside figures. Haven't converted. Haven't come close to converting. Nathan Scaglarini just coming past and just saying, steady, go back, have a shot for goal. Bit of a short run-up, it looks like here. It's That's good. Don't mind it. Okay. This no. will be good for me, Eliza, if Jordan Tapton can kick this goal because Bond Beach have done most of the attacking in the first six minutes or so of play, seven minutes, and he misses on that occasion. So the left foot kick, it's a traditional left foot kick just went from the left right-hand side. So one behind each of two. We played seven and a half minutes in the qualifying final. Winner to play YCW in the second semi next week. Loser to play winner of tomorrow's elimination final for Hunter and Frankston. As the kick comes out, four off the hands. Casey took it. And now another opportunity for Jackson Casey. He gets it up to Shane McDonald. This is good for Bombay. Shane McDonald trying to do too much. And that was given caught. It. And that was a good tackle applied, and the free kick will go to James Hammond, and he'll kick from a halfback to put Mount Eliza into attack. Jackson Casey could have had a fourth effort there. It was fantastic for his first three, and Shane McDonald should have given it. I think there's ominous signs for Bomb Beach, though, boys. The, the ball has been in the hands of Armitage, Gent, uh, McDonald, Casey. Oh. That's a big contest there. We're going to get a throw in. So the player for Nick Waterston is down. You could hear, you could <laughs> hear the crunch there. Hit. He's still down. Ball thrown in. Rucks do battle. Gilbert just edged out of it by Rouse. Came in by hand. Rouse by foot just inside the forward 50. It's a dribbler. That was Corrigan. He goes into the middle of the ground looking for McDonald. That was great work there from Fraser. Uh, sorry, from Lockie Williams, who's usually up forward. Armitage. He can go by his left foot. He's gone out wide. Finding the player there in Bo Bailey, who's put it out in front of the leading Tyson Murray who wants to go back and have a shot. The had man, had man. William Dunn on the far side, or the our side, but ignore him, ignored him, which is fine. Go back, take the responsibility. They need to kick their first. That was really well done by Sean Corrigan, too, down here, defensive 50. Got nudged into the contest, still attacked it hard, and was able to clear with ease. The man they affectionately call Wet Rock, Nick Waterstone, he's off the ground. He's not in a good way, boys, at the moment. He's often just get attended to by the trainers and just topped a fair hit there just before. That's a point. Off target and three for a point. So two behinds plays one. Do you like the play on words there? Waterstone to Wet Rock. Do you yeah. like that, Des? Didn't mind that, Vossi. Didn't mind that at all. You've gone your own little cuddles method there. Uh, wanting credit for your own work, but not bad. I'll pay it. As you spoke about Finn Bain at the start, but Armitage would have had, you know, close to 10 possessions already. What are they going to do mm. with him? Good question. He's brought his own footy, hasn't he? But apart from his first two kicks, it was a bit rusty. I reckon his last six have been absolutely lace out. So, big problem. Uh, should have been a push in the back. So, it's going to be repelled from Mount Eliza with a handball from the player in Rouse. Big kick down the line. Contest. Corrigan. 
for Bomb Beach is in the play. Sam Gilbert, he goes by hand, and then a bit of a volleyball spike, just bouncing around at the moment. They've come out, and they're going to come out even wider. Bomb Beach have flicked it over the play, and William Dunn, he can run onto it, he can go. He goes in with a chisel looking for Trent Dennis Lane, goes through his hands, that's it three times already, but it's ominous. Ominous signs that he's got space already, boys. Yeah, only needs one to stick, doesn't he? And then he'll he'll get going. That was really well done by Dunn there too, by the way. Is that a good start? Is uh, It can be a thankless role, the uh, far winger, isn't it, Vossi? You can go unrewarded, but deserve the reward there. Bomb Beach into attack. Inside attacking 50, the umpire says throw it back into play. So Bomb Beach are two behinds. Mount Eliza are one behind. We'll get an update from Crago throughout this first quarter as well. Lang Warren playing Somerville in the second semi-final there at uh, Chelsea this afternoon. Magnificent Chelsea ground, wasn't that? Magnificent view we had last week. Yeah, it was spectacular. Free kick here to Bomb Beach, I think. So Bomb Beach still looking for their first goal, looking for the first goal of the game. And they've got an opportunity here for a free kick and a shot to take place. And the man... Surely one's got to go through. Surely. The man to have the shot as soon as he turns What's around. That? Joe Fisher. It, uh, it is. It is Joseph Fisher. Don't want to be giving him uh, chances on goal through free kicks, boys. No, absolutely not. Your kick from uh, your kick from out near 50. He'll have the shot. Well, he ran a little right. And he hooks that one. So three behinds Bomb Beach, one behind Mount Eliza. Um, Premier Traditional Home Scoreboard. This is the Battery Water Mornington match of the day, live on RPP. Couple of really poor, poor goal kicking techniques we've seen, boys. Uh, Kaplan in, uh, Kapkin, sorry, in front of us. Pretty laconic, short run up. And then that one there for Fisher. He ran towards the right goal post, and that's where it went. It's not about the short run up, Daz. It's just about the momentum going through the ball. He had the stutter steps going, but Mount Eliza, they come out wide looking for that man in Kapkin. He's taking the mark on the wing. That's better. Looking for Tom Kelly. Oh. Goes through his hands. Who then gives away a free kick. Michael Wright's going to take this. Silly. And oh, thought it was going to be 50. Yeah, really silly. Frustration free kick, and they had two spare when that ball came out. So, pretty disappointing. So, they're going to go backwards and go wider through Stenning. They've gone over the top. Douglas. They've gone wider in the play in Osland. Out in front of Lee. They've finally got it in the hands of Sam Gilbert, who was standing about five to ten metres off the pack all alone. That was really good body work. So much better ball movement. It's gone over the back. Who can run onto it? It's conceded through for a behind. So Bomb Beach go on to four behinds. Mount Eliza one behind. We've played nearly 13 minutes in the first quarter. Thanks also to Chisholm Sports Academy, boys, and that pro finish uh, roof roofing as well. Absolutely. They're looking like... The, the better side by so much it's not funny. Once they get within 40 metres of goal, they are looking like a shambles at the moment, Bomb Beach. All they need to do is fix it up, even 50%, and they could grab a big quarter-time lead. Mount Eliza giving up a few shots at goal early, four behinds Bomb Beach. Um, considering their defence is uh, normally quite hard to penetrate, but Bomb Beach haven't been able to hit the scoreboard as yet. A high kick by Osland it was towards centre half forward going back and taking the mark there from out Eliza. Between full back and centre half back they can play on and switch to the scoreboard side. A kick out towards Armitage who had to play the role of trying to knock the ball down and then he was out of the contest and now he needs help to get back into the contest. He's going to get the ball knocked to him but it goes over in fact for a boundary throw in. 14 minutes in the opening quarter. Bomb Beach, four behinds. Mount Eliza, one behind. Bomb Beach coming off a, a win last week at Tremana to take the double chance. Uh, to make sure of the double chances should take as they went from third to second and Mount Eliza losing to Pines last week. But Pines win and Franks and Bombers win meant that Pines couldn't go any higher than sixth spot on the ladder. Free, uh, the... Uh, Ball with Corrigan for Bomb Beach goes towards half forward, but it's going to be marked here by Shane Tennant or clear from centre half back. That'd be their sixth or seventh intercept mark in their back half, Mount Eliza, holding up magnificently. So Kelly goes by foot. He's found Tom Small. He's gone back in, looking for Morney, who took the mark. Kelly drops the ball. So it's under the players here at the moment. Umpire circling. We're going to get a ball up in the middle of the ground here. 
You ought to be able to hit a two metre handball in a final, boys. They were away. They had a player streaming inside 50. Harrison Scott, I think it was. So they Hewlett. were out. Owen Hewlett in the ruck for Bomb Beach at the moment. He's opposed to Max Morney for Mount Eliza. I'm going to get another stoppage inside the centre square. 15 minutes gone. We had to see a goal. We'll get to some scores from Chelsea at the break. But Bailey Well, she extracts the ball from the contest. He goes up looking for Harrison Scott or Will and So Jasper O'Neill, but it's gone over the back. Just Harrison Scott, he has a shot. Oh, better than that. Analyze will move on to two behinds. Bomb Beach, four behinds. 15 and a half gone. On the Premier Traditional Home Scoreboard, this is the Bachelor World of Mornington match of the day. Had more space than he realised there, Harrison Scott. Pressure does things to people in finals, but... Free kick for in the back. Going to be called to play on now is the Bombay's player Tyson Murray. He goes to half forward. Mark Taker by Shane McDonald. Too far out to score. The veteran, the star that he is. Oh, Shane McDonald. Beautiful kick. kick. The mark has been taken directly in front of our door. Oh, 30... 35 out directly in front and an opportunity to score Bomb Beach's first goal. We can tell you that we will go to Craig o shortly but I can tell you the game has started at Chelsea and uh, we'll get an update from him shortly. We'll, uh, we'll wait to hear from Craig o before we give the update on that game. Love the intent from Shane McDonald too. He took off, he saw the lead beginning, kicked it into space and geez, he just put it on a platter, didn't he? This has just got to go through. So the man they call TDL Trent Dennis Lane for the first goal of the qualifying final. He has the shot. He puts it through for the goal, and Bomb Beach have the first in the qualifying final. They're 1 4 10. Mount Eliza are two behind. They played about 18 minutes in the opening quarter, and uh, that took a long time there, AJ. Certainly did, Vossi, but uh, I tell you what, there's ominous signs from Trent Dennis Lane. Attacked the footy four times mm. on the lead. That was a beautiful, beautiful kick from Shane McDonald. Uh, I think Shane McDonald's going to go to another level in these final series, boys. We know what a player he's been, but I think he's um, still got something that he wants to prove with the Bomb Beach Footy Club uh, in this final series. Yeah, I'll rate that. And, yeah, Trent Dennis lying there. He's had two steps on his opponent the entire day. Could have already had two or three, to be honest. Absolutely. Ball comes out from the contest from Mount Eliza. They go over the top of Finlay Bain. Ball comes out and it just trickles over. A little bit of a knock from the player in Corrigan from Bomb Beach. And we'll get a throw in not too far from where we're broadcasting here at the Greg Beck Oval, the home of the Frankston Bombers. Nick Waterstone back on the ground as well, boys, lining up at centre-half back for Bomb Beach. He's approaching the contest. Owen Hewlett's in the ruck, as we mentioned a little bit earlier. The ball comes out in front of Shane McDonald. Didn't bounce favourably for him. That's gone out of bounds. And we'll get another throw in in front of the, let's say, that. The grandstand without uh, a roof, boys. It's be a magical place to sit with a roof, but a free kick's been picked oh. out here to Nathan Scaglarini against Jackson Casey. He's going to play on. He goes with a front punt inside forward 50, but he's found James Hammond. That was an absolute mung, but you get rewarded for finding space Straight in this caper. Absolutely. Bomb Beach, you've got to be wary here. Bailey Has he got the leg? Sitting by himself at the, for- at the half forward line here. He doesn't look all that confident. So Hammond goes in. It's going to land in the goal square. Who can take a mark? Off hands. Crowd wanting in the back. Repelled by Bomb Beach. Jackson Casey has the footy. Some good leadership there by David Armitage, but he's going to get the footy. He was saying go to the one-on-one down the line. That left foot familiar kicking style of David Armitage. Served him well at St Tilda. Had a good good uh, career there. Not a great one, but a good one. And he's doing some great stuff at Bomb Beach. This so bloke's brought his own footy. Jackson Casey. Oh. He certainly has. He's had plenty of it early. He went to half forward with the kick. No mark taken there by Liam Hewlett. The umpire is going to give nothing. It's a ball up. Right in front of the interchange bench out there. I think that's the Bomb Beach interchange bench out there, which the scoreboard at the moment is one four ten. Mount Eliza are two behinds. Crowd getting more vocal food, love to hear it. Well, we started off with a good crowd last week. We've got a good crowd today, and I'm, I'm, I've been told it's a good crowd at Chelsea. Finals football is well and truly back. There's no doubt about that. And don't we love it? An opportunity for Mount Eliza to clear. 
A scrubby looking kick towards the centre of the ground. Captain fell to ground. Oh, and the bit Bomb Beach player just absolutely oh, going stiff. over the top of him. Oh, it's stiff. Armitage the poor bloke slipped. What's, oh, and then he got absolutely sat upon. In fact, it's not Armitage, it's Casey. But Jackson Casey just absolutely came in and, well, he did sit on his... Anyone have him for 50 plus? It looks like he's headed that way. Goodness me. Sam Delbert it is. Who is 70 metres out from Dully. Sets it up towards the forward pocket. And there's a mark. I reckon that's a bit of a, bit of a set play there. Mm. That, that worked a treat. And the mark has been taken. Probably 30 metres out from Dole. And it's been taken by Owen Hewlett. And this to give Bond Beach their second goal. And give them a 14-point lead in time on in the opening quarter. Actually, it's probably a little bit more than 30 out. We've got Craig Russell on the line from Chelsea. Just give us an update in a minute just as we see Owen Hewlett line up for goal, looking for Bomb Beach's second. If he's not a dead ringer for John Segler, I don't know who is. <laughs> in he comes. That's a great hit. Splits the middle. So Bomb Beach get the second goal. 2-4-16, man Eliza, two behinds. Craig, have we got you on the line? Yeah, good afternoon, boys. Uh, live from uh, Chelsea this afternoon. Uh, come at a pretty good time, 17 minutes into the first quarter. A big day for the Langy Footy Club. Uh, they uh, won their 19s and the reserves for both sides moving through to the grand final in uh, the uh, first team. 2-1-13, uh, Lane Warren. Uh, the goals to uh, Peach and Marks. And uh, Chelsea have just kicked a goal. Uh, one behind, 1-1-7. Uh, one, one, Beautiful. We'll look to get back to you throughout the day as we go back to the contest here. Ball in the middle. Nathan Scaglarini has it. He takes one bounce. He looks a little bit wider looking for Michael. Right West, kick. But the oh. player there and Harrison Scott, they almost clashed. He goes with a an almost, I'm not going to say impossible, but a very uh, hard. Yeah, low percentage yeah. shot, wasn't it? Absolutely. That was a fantastic hit. He's lifted Scaglarini in the last five minutes. And Harrison Scott, he's had some moments, but he's put down Spots too. So Mount Eliza look to bring the ball back in. And now they're off the chance. Captain left foot shot a goal off target out of bounds in the fall. Mount Eliza speaking State, of guys that have had an indifferent start. Three behinds plays 2 4 16. We played 24 minutes in the uh, 22 minutes, I should say, in the opening quarter. We're live here at Craig Beck Oval. Beautiful day for football after a very, very chilly morning. Yes, ball on the line. Been really impressed with a, a bit of Mount Eliza's game. The scoreboard not really reflecting how well they've been out of the middle and and moving centre forward. They're just unable to put the finishing touches on, much like Bond Beach in the first ten minutes. So Mount Eliza going to extract the ball away from the contest. Williams that goes inside forward fifty. Waterston goes back with a flight once again. Put his body on the line. After, Great mark from him. Yeah, after getting crunched early too. That's doubly courageous. Good on him, and that's a good hit. He found Casey. He goes over the top and finding Armitage. I reckon that'd be 15 touches for Jackson Casey right now. I think the uh, statistician would need a new pen for both Armitage and Casey. Mm. Armitage is going to go wide. Douglas has the footy. He's going to go in short, finding Hewlett of the Owen variety. Slowing the game down, Bomb Beach. they got a bit of a lead, so they don't need to do anything altogether that risky. Hewlett goes out wide. Absolute dead ringers they are. Probably because they're related. I'm just going to put my little conspiracy I'm theory glad you, I'm glad you said yeah, that, yeah. Dad. <laughs> you reckon, Vossi? I reckon there's a, probably a fair chance. That's why they look alike. I reckon, AJ? I reckon as well, Vossi's Ball thrown in. Man Eliza extracted from the contest. We might have AJ's new nickname, Vossi. Might be Captain. Named after obvious. <laughs> oh. <laughs> And a tackle applied, and we're going to get a ball up just inside the centre square here at the Greg Beck Oval. So we've played nearly 24 minutes in the first quarter. Premier Traditional Home Scoreboard, Bomb Beach 2 4 16, and Mount Eliza 3 behind. Mount Eliza would love one before quarter time. Bomb Beach happy with that 13 point lead at the moment. Could be a little bit more. Both sides have had a couple of opportunities to get goal on, goals on the board, but not to be. Yeah, both teams could almost be six straight, couldn't they? This guy's been good too. There's a quick kick inside, attacking 50. The ball drops short right in front of where we are this afternoon here at Greg Beck Oval. They go in very hard, these two sides, and the umpire says, I'm going to ball it up. Finlay Bain massaging his ear after copping one there. Jackson Casey, good tackle. It's been everywhere. We haven't, heard, we haven't seen his name. I haven't called his name too much in that first quarter, have we? Finlay, Finlay Bain, I'm talking about, AJ. Yeah, spot on. 
So for, um, the ball up to take place once again. So they've obviously gone down the path of maybe trying to um, trying to be a little bit, little bit tighter on him, I guess. Yeah, I think that's what the good mids do. Looks like Corrigan's running with him as the siren sounds for quarter time. Bomb Beach 2-4, 16, Manalizer 3 behind. We'll continue to go through forward pocket so not expecting to get too too much in the way of the ball down there but he can be very damaging nevertheless good to see Vossi was listening yeah. to me 45 seconds ball extracted from the experience we've gone out wide to Cole it's going to be chopped off from Nick Waterston hasn't he had a good start to the game got absolutely flattened it's gone back with the flight of the ball used the ball pretty well he comes up to the wing looking for Jason Owen Hill at Handball out of the pack, but it was cut off, but it gets to Mitch Gent. Handball over the top, that's great for the Bomb Beach Footy Club. Shane McDonald just from behind, he gets a fist in. Applies a bit of pressure. Taking the mark is Joe. Oh, I don't think Bomb that Beach. was 15. Don't think he should have rented the crowd. I don't think even Fisher thought that. He goes inside the forward 50. Trent Dennis Lane coming at the footy big contest. Ball comes out the back and it goes over the line. We're going inside the forward 50 once again for Bomb Beach. And they've started this second quarter... Uh, Pretty uh, hotly Yeah, first goal crucial in this quarter. Catalyzer would want to get it. Um, try and get themselves into this game. Bond Beach, if they can get it, they'll have a 20 point lead. It'd be a great start for them in this game, keeping the opposition goalless in the first quarter and a bit. Bit of love for Zach Rouster, who went back with the flight of the ball to nullify that contest with Trent Dennis Lane earlier. It's what you've got to do as a defensive group, look after each other. Good knockdown by Fisher, but it's taken away by Finlay Bain. He of the Mustaka goes out towards. <laughs> so the wing of the ball goes over the line for boundary. It is magnificent, isn't it? Mm. This is, it, it is. It is. Hopefully, his form reflects that. Not a. Probably should have hit that target and hasn't found a whole lot of the footy, but he's got to work his way into it. So, an opportunity for Bomb Beach to pick up the ball, but then players besiege and the umpire says on centre wing, I'm going to pull it up. So, remind us again, Vossi, what happens to the winner of this game? Winner plays YCW next week, which I believe will be next Saturday. And uh, without having the fixture in front of you, but it should be next Saturday. Because the first semi-final should be on Sunday. And the loser plays the winner of tomorrow. Potentially, um, I think the next Sunday final could be back here as well. Jackson Casey getting the free kick for Bomb Beach. The overs Alice was small. He's yeah. getting going. Goes into the short one looking for Gilbert. It's gone out and we'll get another throw in right. I can uh, understand the frustration of a couple up on beach forwards. The man Eliza took a, that extra step or two to man up. They could have hit an open target. Pretty handy to have a six foot four midfielder just running around that can also do the ruck work, boys. Yeah, I wouldn't complain. The ball thrown in. Gilbert at the front. He gets first hand on it. Ball comes out to Gilbert. He goes by hand. That's Gilbert a great under, handball. Undergrounder inside. 50 Bomb Beach go. And it's landed just on the line. We're going to get a throw in. <laughs> How's the uh, game awareness right in front of us from Sam Gilbert to get that handball between two legs of an opposing player? So the right leg of one and the left leg of another to uh, to hit up his teammate there in William Dunn. The Fisher doing the right work for Bomb Beach. Can they get on the board once again, get their third? It's going to be taken away by Manalizer with an high up and under but it'll go out of bounds on the full and the player in William Dunn will be able to rebound for Bomb Beach and the uh, mate in the crowd tried taking a chest mark and he let it hit his chest Vossi and didn't wrap his arms around the footy, just came straight off him no, he forgot all about that <laughs> so ball picked up, head past McDonald but he takes the hit over the line one of Vossi's favourite expressions two hands for beginners, didn't even get one to it so It'll be all right.
clear that he was going to get the distance, and the ball did hang in the air, I noticed that, in that last little bit, but he had enough in the leg, and Bond Beach look on fire early. I certainly do. Ball comes out to the far side. Manilow have it through. Kelly back over to Cole. That was Bailey Cole, but Bond Beach have won it back. Then they go inside forward 50 once again, looking for Joe Fisher. He gets the two jokes up, but it's spoiled away by Zach Rouse. Over the boundary line it goes, and we'll get a throw in on the far side, just inside the forward 50. I'm not suggesting anything about the end result here, but I feel like if Bond Beach get another one early, you, you've got to hit the panic button if you're Mount Eliza. I agree with you, Daz. The way that they've gone inside forward 50 as well and around the stoppage. Mitch Chant works his way around. Goes up to one and one with Trent Dennis Lane. Trent, Trent uh, did yeah, a bit of jumper pulling there. Absolutely, that was there. Good pick by the umpire. Yeah, the Eliza come out wide looking for the player in Declan Cole. He takes the mark. So Simmons has the job on TDO at the moment. With the ball in Finlay Bain's hands. It's where they go from here. And player in Jordan, Rouse. Zach Rouse, sorry, taking the mark. Got nothing on up the field. He's just going to go down the line. This is where they lack a bit in Mount Eliza. They don't have that big hulking centre-half forward that they can just put it on their head like a Joe Fisher or a Khan Haratuku from the Bombers. Mm. Spot on. And look at Bomb Beach's no. forward line. When you've got Fish, you've got T- TDL, you've got the Hewlett boys. Who do, they've got some, they've got some major size down there. So and, of course, Dramana playing Frankston Bombers tomorrow with some big news with a big out for Dramana, AJ. So it's a huge out for the Dramana Tigers, especially when you've got a player that continually gets 30 and 3 each week. Not only the, not only the star player, but also... Uh, the, he's the captain, isn't he? He is, Vossi. So he's the captain as well. So that's uh, that's going to lack a little little bit tomorrow. So they're going to do it without their main man. There is for us for Leonard Billy Quigley. The back here, Bo Bailey with a sideways kick to check side. Oh, oh bar. It's an opportunity oh, into the open goal. Oh, that was great. Joe Fisher oh, holding oh, in there. All of a sudden, Joe Fisher knocked the ball over. Jack Sullivan ran around one and then had an open goal. Credit to Jack Sullivan there who did go to Joe Fisher straight away after kicking that goal and thanking him. That was just fantastic game awareness knowing that there was two on one in that contest and getting it to ground and that panic button has been well and truly pushed for Mount Eliza and their boys. The scary thing is that Trent Dennis Lane only has one at the moment, but he could add a couple. He had a juke them. It's ball back in the middle. Rucks go at it. Shane McDonald's gone in for a little burst. Ball comes out to Scaglarini. He goes by foot, but he's turned it over. Bomb Beach going to repel once again. Oh, they're just sitting in the middle. They've got players just lining up. They're going inside forward 50, and that man, Trent Dennis Lane, comes out and takes the mark. Beautiful ball movement from Bomb Beach. Can we get a head count? That, they look like they got two or three. Spare players, Bomb Beach, yeah, standing great. Hands from Teddy Allen, I think he's just warming into this contest beautifully. That's, the, I reckon, the fourth or the fifth time he's had more than a step on his opponent, whether it's a step and a half, two, probably a two and a half on that occasion. Craig has just sent a message through that it is quarter time in the game at Chelsea, mm-hmm. and Lang Warren are up by 13 points at quarter time, 6 one a sum of a one one seven. So the two weeks off hasn't done too much damage, boys. No, courtesy, uh, of, Bend- courtesy of Bendigo Bank, too, as TDL pushes that. Right. He'd love to have that one back. He could have had four already, I reckon. 4 5 29 Bomb Beach. They are beating Mount Eliza at every opportunity at the moment. Mount Eliza three behind. So Mount he's still without a goal. And this is worrying times for the Red Leagues. I think Finlay Baines had five or six touches this quarter. Oh, that's... Now, the AFL have come in the finals ditching that rule. The Not the staging, the setting a opposition up position player up for a 50 metre penalty by feigning a handball it's worked there i'm not sure if i'm a fan of it that's the uh the stand rule exploitation i'm just wondering how long how far nathan scape already remembered that ball aj had a couple of bounces there bossy oh i tell you what i reckon he, in between bounces i reckon he, he ran a fair way though so bomb beats 4 5 29 the man lies up four behinds nearly 10 minutes gone in the second quarter it's a one way at the moment, Bomb Beach, their ball movement's been far superior. They're going to go out wide looking for a target. No mark taken. Clean. Oslin just pushed off a gent. Clean. A tackle. The ball 
It's going to be called for a throw up by the umpire they on just, the far side near the scoreboard. They've just got to lock this in, the analyzer. They've got to create repeat scoring opportunities. They've got it. The only pressure that matters right now is scoreboard pressure. Absolutely. Is they're going to go deeper inside their forward 50? And the ball trickles out and we'll get a throw in. We can finally sort of take a breath after Von Beach dominating the opening eight or so yeah. minutes. And it's been a good spread in this quarter. I know Armitage and Jackson Casey dominated the first quarter, but everyone's getting their hands on the footy now. Uh, we've actually got uh, Craigo on the line. We're going to cross to Craigo now and give us an update on that second semi-final between Lane Warren and Somerville. Craigo. Yes, boys. Uh, it's uh, been all uh, Lane Warren in this early part of the second quarter. Uh, they kicked three goals in the first uh, five minutes of the second quarter and have got out to a very handy lead, uh, 9 but 55 to Somerville's 1-1-7. Tom Roberts is playing for Somerville today. Uh, the ruck has been fairly easy so far, but uh, the, uh, the Lang Langwarren back line led by uh, Mitch Cuthbert cleaning everything up that comes their way. Langwarren have probably missed two uh, chances in that first quarter, but, uh, sorry, um, some of them missed two uh, chances in that first quarter that should have been goals, but uh, they have got a mountain of work to do. Uh, five minutes into the second quarter here at uh, Chelsea, Langwarren 9 one fifty-five. some of them one one seven. And grow the cup now, AJ. It's just knocking on that door at the moment. So Jordy Katkin has it here for Manalyza. Poor, uh, poor AJ's just had a stroke trying to say absolutely there. I noticed that was a uh, very, very interesting. Um, yeah, I, I can't believe the stance that Suss has taken. How many times has he tipped against Lane Warren until he's right to prove he's a genius? And right now he's looking foolish. So Jordy Katkin. Can he count? How many times can you say they need one? He's pushed that to the far side. It's going to go through for another behind. So Manalyza move on to five behinds. So Bomb Beach have a four-goal lead currently on the Premier Traditional Home scoreboard. 4-5-29 playing five behinds at Bossy. 24-point lead to Bomb Beach. Doing it very nicely at this stage. Ball just getting handed back to Sean Corrigan down there. He's going to kick in from fullback. Joe Fisher out at half back, but he'll down and we'll, we'll go to Fisher actually and he goes up, make a player, ball knocked away. Free kick. Oh no, my apologies. Just a double whistle there on that occasion. There's a bit of a wind that's blowing towards the broadcast side boys, noticing balls are swinging late into the air. That sounds wrong, but go with it. Down round, hard to throw the ball back into play. Analyzer need a goal, absolute understatement. I know they're still without one. We've crossed 13 minutes in this second quarter. Umpire the ball, the ball up once again. What needs to come under the microscope for Analyzer now is leadership. Who is going to stand up and so, take this final by the scruff of the neck and get them back into the contest? So the quick kick came out and it was marked by Bailey Welsh. Now they can play on. Analyzer, they go towards full forward, no mark taken. And it's knocked towards the line, and it goes over for a boundary throw-in. So right forward pocket, metal eyes deep into attack. They trail five behind five points, and Bomb Beach are up by 24 points at 4 5 29. We've played 14 minutes. Big difference between both sides, boys, has been the entries inside forward 50 as the ball is thrown back in by the boundary umpire. Two rucks go at it. She's on the ground, bouncing around. It'd be cool for another stoppage. You can see that Shane McDonald's uh, laced uh, Trent Dennis Lane out a couple of times and just put it out in front, whereas Mount Eliza are just bombing away to a, a contest every time. Quick kick smothered. Players just uh, around this big pack. Fossey's just slurping away on a Coke Zero, just getting his uh, appetite going. I mean, this is playing right in the Bond Beach's hands. The game can be as slow as it wants when you're four goals in front. Of course, winner of this game will play Frankston YCW next week. The loser will take on the winner of Dramana and Frankston Bombers with Billy Quigley not playing, which opens that game up monumentally. <coughs> so once again, we've got another stoppage inside the forward 50 for Mount Eliza. Oh, she's on the ground and we had it. Another throw in. All right, we need this contest broken up, I think. Bond Beach have uh, wowed us in the first four or five minutes with their ball movement. And 
we don't need a, uh, a trio of stoppages in the same spot, I don't think. I think we're about to get a fourth. No. Don't go too early, guys. This ball comes out for Bombay. Got right linked hit. up by hands. Just found Trent Dennis Lane. This matchup's a problem. Elliot Simmons is giving him way too much space. Over to McDonald. So he wheels around. He's going to go inside Ford Fisher with a beautiful kick oh, in front of oh, Joe Fisher, but it's scored by Antony. Verma off the side of his boot, out in front of Mitch Jen. Can he just reel it in? And it's going to go out of bounds, and we'll have another throw in deep inside the Bomb Beach Ford 50, and they look very dangerous. I think the only reason why Elliot Simmons is uh, not keeping up with the uh, the mat matchup does is the fact that their ball movement is just far superior. Yeah, absolutely. He hasn't done a whole lot wrong, though be honest with you that Shane McDonald that's got to be four of the best entries inside 50 you'll ever see in two of them have been dropped when they should have been taken that's why he's been the best player in the MP in the for a number of years boys so the balls of the 50 metre line for the Bomb Beach Footy Club Mitch Jen he's taken in a tackle but gets the handball out Armitage just brushes the player off over to Murray he gets a kick on Ease. So Bomb Beach go out to 5-5, 35, Mount Eliza 5 behind. And weren't they caught napping too, Mount Eliza, the fact that he was able to sidestep, come inside the contest with three or four Mount Eliza players who didn't automatically rush in, gave him that extra step, and he put it through. This is looking quite grim for Mount Eliza at the moment, and uh, that skip bin is calling my name, unfortunately. I like my mattress, though. Yeah, he eyed you off before the game, and I'll tell you what. He did. He'll be eyeing you off more so afterwards. I just, I think that's where the problem was. Well, see, I think if you're blaming me, I think that's where the problems may lie. So, ball back to the middle. Bomb Beach nice. doing it all as they please at the moment. They go inside. McDonald overrun the ball. Hewlett gets a hand pass out. He was looking there for Bo Bailey. He overrun it. Yeah, Morology are plenty there. The 224s go at it. And Sam Mornay, long lost, long lost cousin of Tuna, decided to, decided to, I'm going to hand the ball back to the umpire and ball the ball up. Oh, oh it looks an obvious one there. You're better than that, Bossy. Oh, no, I'm no. not, but you are. I know, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit of the old uh, corny sort of jokes. That's me at the moment. The sun breaking 3 2. Beautiful. Love it. Boundary up to throw the ball back into play. 35 or 30 metres out from the Bomb Beach goal. Ball comes to the back. And the umpire says, I am going to ball the ball up, I believe. Yes, and he, thank you, Will. So, a throw up once again. Fisher going up. Well done, Joe Fisher. Jeez, he's good in the ruck, isn't he? Just knocks the ball down. Just gave an opportunity here for Jackson Casey. Unfortunately, it didn't bounce kindly for him. He kicked one out. The mark has been oh. Now they can get it to go. Captain gets it over towards his team out there in Price. He goes towards centre wing, but it's a poor kick, and the mark has been taken from Bomb Beach and they can load up once again. They go out wide, they've found the play there in Calvin Lee. Could have gone with him or Armitage. Gone out further looking for Casey, but a great spoil by Shane Tan. Haven't called his name too much today, boys. It's probably a, a reason why Bomb Beach is so far in front at the moment. Yeah, it's a credit to their ball movement, hasn't it, that we haven't seen Shane Tennant come across much like Price did moments ago. Just got to give credit to Bomb Beach. Tennant hasn't done anything wrong. They're just not kicking it to him or kicking it at him either. They're finding targets, pockets of space in their forward 50. Sign of a good game plan, Daz. Mm, absolutely. Yeah, all thrown in, bot on. Ball rode by Scaglarina. He can come out of the stoppage. He goes wider looking for Cole, who's got it now. He goes in. Can he find a target? He's just bounced in front of the player there in Williams. So some, he's kept his feet, though. He's going to go in short, run over the top, but it's spoiled. Not a great kick. It's going to go out of bounds. Not, not happening for Manalizer at the moment here. Uh, boys? Yeah, whatever can go wrong is going wrong for Manalizer at the moment. Which is not what we want to see. Bailey Welsh's game, I think, has been pretty good. Man, Eliza, you know, when we talk about a couple of their players, Declan Cole's been good, but he's just missed a couple of targets by foot. They're not that far from 
from it clicking and coming together it just it needs to happen quickly sometimes when you've got a, a press like they're doing at the moment man eliza and you leave uh, trent dennis lane and shane mcdonald all alone doesn't matter even though they're in their attacking forward line it's only a couple of quick kicks out with their ball movement that they're out, out away from their opponents man eliza six behinds on beach five five thirty five twenty and a half minutes played in the second quarter so Mount Eliza is still without a goal and this is looking very, very good for Bond Beach at this stage. Still a half of football to go, of course, as the kick comes out towards half-back. Fisher went up third in line, couldn't take the mark, ball over the line for a boundary throwing once again. I reckon all six of their kick-ins have gone to the exact same spot, Bond Beach, so definitely a set play to set up the stoppage and let their midfielders go to work. So boundary up to throw the ball back in. Elliot Simmons playing about eight metres in front of Trent Dennis Lane at the moment. I oh, know he's backing back there. So here's an opportunity now for Bombo to throw on the field. Going around a tap on the in short. It wasn't the greatest of kicks. It was looking there for Casey instead. It ended up with Will Anthony. He's got it. Oh, he's one. Goes to the high kick towards the forward pocket. It floats in towards and the ball knocked over for a boundary throw-in. So 21 and a half minutes played. If you reckon Mount Eliza have got problems, or I reckon some of them have got problems at, at Chelsea trying to uh, trying to match up against their Lang Warren at the moment, AJ? Absolutely correct, Bossy. I think everyone's had problems against Lang Warren all year as the ball's thrown back in. Tackle applied and we're going to get another stoppage. So the couple of things for Mount Eliza here, they need to stop going down the line. They're just getting nothing from their tools at the moment. And the second thing they've got to do is, at the boundary throw-in, especially broadcast side, they're falling a bit short, so their ruckman needs to set up closer to the boundary line in order to take full effect. The last couple of stoppages, the Mount Eliza ruckman has just done nothing. Just hasn't got there. It's come out, it's been turned over by Mount Eliza, but standing in the way for that footy club, it is Shane Tennant. Ball comes to ground, Mitch Jen. He goes by hand over to Gilbert. He goes by hand once again. Back to Gilbert. He brushes off a tackle. So Bart runs onto it. He can go inside forward 50. Look at the Trent Dennis Lane. The kicks inside 50 today have been extraordinary. Absolutely extraordinary. Seriously, Elliot uh, Simmons is not. No. Yeah, he's going into half time going, hey midfield, any chance you can put some pressure on the ball coming in? Absolutely. Yeah. By hand, football on base. Oh. looking way too slick. Well, this has got to go towards the left goal post and just swing back nicely. I think Elliot wants to trade, trade threes with Gene Simmons actually at the moment. <laughs> 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 There's nothing, there is nothing you can do with the ball, you, ball uses like yeah, that. Yeah. And, and that's the first one really that, oh, actually, you kicked the first goal of the game, but that was just icing on the cake. Yeah, that was a beautiful kick by, by Trent Dennis Lane. It sums up the reason why Bond Beach is six goals ahead, boys, because their ball movement inside forward 50 has been out in front of Trent Dennis Lane, whereas when Man Eliza go inside forward 50, it's on top of a pack. Yeah, spot on, and, and we're talking about poor Elliot Simmons. What are you taught as a young defender? You've got to play back shoulder. And you've got to give them half a step because if you're, of course, too close, you're going to end up pushing them in the back and you can use your athleticism. Right now, they're just hitting Trent Dennis's lane, Trent Dennis Lane's forehead at the moment. He's just clumping everything at the moment. So I feel for the, I feel for the lad. And I'll also learn how to talk at some point, too. I've been kicking four goals this quarter. Man, I was hoping to the goal. I'll give you a question, AJ. Answer it at half time if you want. But would you, if you were Steve Battle, would you go in and really give it to the players would you absolutely just form a circle or put me in the middle like and let him bash me I don't, I don't think you go, you're not going to go off your lid but you're going to give him a fair old clip i reckon for the way that they've they've uh, gone inside their forward 50 like yeah the insurance of next week means nothing right here absolutely there's the ball on the far side that's better ball movement out in front of the play there in morning it's you, this kick they're struggling with you play next week but also you're at risk of uh, by, lo by losing today you play next week and you've got the longer route to the grand final mm. so yeah, now into the pocket they're going to find a player finally inside their forward 50 in williams i'll get excited when it goes through well i really will but yeah you're spot on both kicks the kick beforehand and that kick inside 50 they just found pockets of space they used the width of the ground they didn't just go down the line. They didn't kick the ball high. Yeah, Intelligent football. If he kicks this goal, I'm interested to know what the reaction is of the yeah. Mount players. Yeah, I think everyone needs to rush in, band together, take the time. He's got a 
Derek King at first. Oh, he's always. 25 metres, he's missed that. <laughs> How would you be the coaching staff right now? What, like, you've got to be thinking to yourself, what more can we do? So seven behind. Is it Mount Eliza, 6 5, 41. That's Bond Beach. There haven't been many shots like that, though, today, boys, inside their forward 50. They've been to the top of the goal square and just, uh, yeah, a few rushed. Yep, spot on. So the ball's out in the far wing. Quick kick forward. They've got players just lining up. <laughs> Seriously, I know I said head count as a joke before. It might actually come to fruition here. Look at him lining up in the middle. Brady Fish is taking the mark inside the forward 50. He can go back if he wants to just settle down, hopefully get their seventh on the board. And the ball movement, once again, is the talking point, fellas. Uh, it's just uh, absolutely, uh, by far, the, the superior for Bomb Beach. They go as a team, don't they? Once they get possession, all their players go. They only leave three or four behind uh, behind the ball I must say if they do turn the footy over and it's up to the opposition to hurt them Mandalize the haven't been able to do it so Joe Fisher gets to line up so just to make sure it was going over his head that was it now Joe Fisher was confident he put that put that through Jan Hewlett of the Owen variety and he also had Tyson Murray to kick that ball to but instead he went back to 45 and said no nah, I've got this boys yeah. and I'll kick the goal and it's exactly what he did when you're what man the wise is missing right now and that's leadership when you're a key forward you should be going back especially yeah. when you're on front at goal yeah, couldn't agree more. Too, too many times you see forwards want to pass that off. If you're a, if you're a key forward, take the onus, go back and kick from in front of goal. Yeah, the confidence was good. He, he turned his back and he didn't look like missing. So the ball's back in the middle. Sam Gilbert is set upon by the Manalizer Footy Club. Ball just bouncing around. Tell you what's going on the rated at the moment. It's on beaches pressure. Absolutely does. Still haven't got too far. The ball comes out. Players are slipping over at the moment. Come back in board. Harmony's put his body over it. And finally, we'll get a stoppage. It's just been really impressive. It's, I'm running out of superlatives at the moment. This is just a, a football team that has uber amounts of confidence every time they get the footy, whether it's in their back half or they're locking it into their front half. They know what to do when they've got the footy and they're holding up when they don't have the footy. So all credit to the Sharks at the moment. Free kick. And look at them go. They're already spread. And the free kick is going here to Lachlan. Steady goes in short. There was a delay. He'd fallen over. There was a delay. How do you have a free man in the centre square? Down here too. And on the snap. He is. Oh, a bit far out for that. I don't mind him. He's got to kick it high. Get the big slam. Too early. Uh, too much bendage. This is a shot. 41 points is a margin of half time here in the qualifying final. It's Bomb Beach 7 6 48. Mount Eliza 0 7. Our footy sides to be done, but start of the third quarter here in the qualifying final. It is a 41 point lead to Bomb Beach. What can Mount Eliza offer us a way of resistance in this third quarter? They've got this the opportunity better. now. The ball to the goal. There's the start. There's the start. And they're all around the two. That's what you want. There's leadership for you. Harrison Scott, who had. A pretty different first half, boys. That is a fantastic finish. That's what we wanted to see early in this third quarter. Geez, the crowd loved it too. The word from Bomb Beach uh, was that they do have some fade out, so they're hoping they can get, just mount a few more goals on the board and uh, can keep Manalizer at bay, but the ball will be back into the middle. That only took about 30 seconds to get Manalizer's first of the afternoon. Yes, their first of the afternoon, and it's after half time. Ball thrown up. Rucks do battle. Better movement for the Mount Eliza midfield. Bain, he gets a kick going forward. It's in the hands of Casey. He goes high hand to Gilbert. Back to Casey. He's going to go with a kick. 
Further afielding for Werner. That's a better mark from Ruan Tony. She's there up. Well, no, it's only a minute and a half, but they're up very well. She goes in, found Scaglarini. He goes over the top, and he's found Price. He can play on. He can go inside forward 50. He can go with a chisel to Williams. He overcooked the footy there a bit. Bombay's can rebound. Mitch Gent by hand. Back over to play there and Bright. So they've gone up to the wing, but standing there was Will Antonio, and he's had a couple of good moments to start the third quarter, boys. They had to make up for it, didn't he? he gave away uh, an albeit a very soft free kick, but owes him one. So he's going to go long to the top of the centre half forward area. It nearly worked out, although it was not intended. The player there for Long Beach was the player in Dunn, but he turned it over. He then gone out wide, Manalosa Scaglarini. He overcooks the footy, but it almost worked for Scott. And Corrigan is taken out, and we'll get a throw in next to the behind post here. We've played two minutes and ten seconds in the third quarter. If you're only just joining us, Manalosa were goalless at half time, but they've kicked their first 30 seconds into the game. And Michael Voss, another throw in. There's another throw in. Manalosa into attack. She's an easy, it's an easy guess. Sorry to interrupt you, Bossy. It's a very easy game with the wing clearances in it. It's three nils so far in terms of Manalizer. And Antony out here had the right idea. Tom Small was out on his own. He just butchered the kick. But they got to lock it in, create the wall, and get a second goal for the quarter. There's another option. And they do. There is a goal. Oh. So they've got two in the space of three minutes to start the third quarter. And that is a perfect start for Mount Eliza. And I was about to say, if you're a Bomb Beach, um, Bomb Beach player or official or whatever, you just, you just need to ride the ride the wave and just, I know you've, you've maybe this is coming at you, but you've just got to ride this out. Yep. Um, but Mount Eliza kicked two goals and all of a sudden the march is making 29 points. So all of a sudden goes there's hope. Yeah, Finlay Bain, good finish too. Really good finish just got out of the back, but if you're Bond Beach right now, then you're, you know, you're not panicking yet. Of course, with a big lead, there's another clearance to be won, and Man Eliza have, have woken up. It's good to see. That's been the difference in this quarter so far, boys. The clearances, Man Eliza have got on top, so the ball's about to be thrown up. The Rucks are going to get through battle once again. Man Eliza on top in that department. Skagarini, he has a clearance. He goes inside forward 50, look for Price. Ball's out in front of Hewlett. He goes up the wing. He was trying to find Verma. Antonio was done a little bit, but Gilbert goes by hand over the top. And they've got the run there. Bailey goes inside Ford 50 over the top of McDonald, but Crumming was Fisher. He's turned it over. Welsh just gets a clearing kick. Cole standing under it. Armitage comes in to affect the contest, but Manalizer are just really battling hard here in the second uh, half to start. They've got the ball moving forward. Whistle's being blown. For a free kick. Downfield the way of Mount Eliza against David Armitage. Momentum go into the middle of the ground. Although they've overcooked it, Bomb Beach are out here if they can get it going. Charlie just applies the pressure for Mount Eliza, but they've made the Bomb Beach footy club turn it over. Small, he goes inside forward 50, looking for a target. Bounces in front of the player there in standing for Bomb Beach. And Bomb Beach have been able to settle and have gone out wide, finding Mitch Jen. Geez, that's two kicks into the middle that they've butchered. Man Eliza both could have turned into scores and they're out here. Bomb Beach in the middle of the ground. Beautiful kick and now all of a sudden standing has got a long kick. Numbers with Mount Eliza there in defence. And they've come as inspired by this second half. Where was this in the first half? They're showing a lot more passion, a lot more determination in this third quarter. They've scored the first two goals inside five minutes to start this third quarter. They're asking a few questions. Bomb Beach is just going to try and ride this out. They go in short. Mark's taken by Shane McDonald. Good man to settle it down. And this would, this would uh, certainly knock a, a few um, stoppings out of them if they can kick this goal. Margin is 29 points. Shane McDonald's got the opportunity to make it 35 points with this kick. Well, it's really in the veteran stage, but still a star in this competition, rest assured. Been a fantastic player over a long time, and if I've nothing more to go back and put this goal on the board to rest and I made it back for his side. He has to strike. That's a beautiful goal. That's a 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 goal.
a great goal for Bombay Smith. Stings have given out a lies of Bombay Smith. Down now by 35 points. 8 6 54. And now the license through 719, and we've played six minutes in the third quarter. There's a sense of, because he's had four or five inside 50 deliveries that have just been outstanding, and he's just done the, all right, I'll do it myself, and was able to settle down. That's a sign of fantastic leadership, isn't it, that he's able to go back, put that one through without a care in the world or looking like it. So if you're man a up, that's okay. More clearances to win, more momentum to be had. Really good bob on beach. They were out in the middle of the ground and were able to take full advantage. So the rush do battle once again. Gilbert with a little toe poke. He found Casey. Fuel runs onto it. He gets a quick quick kick going forward, finding or looking for Fisher. It was forward away from him. He butters up by hand, but he turns it over. Welsh off half back. He's going to go in the middle of the ground. Who can stand up for Manalizer? They're looking for Capkin. He applies a tackle, and we're going to get another stoppage inside the centre square here at the Greg Beck Oval, home of the Frankston Bombers. They're looking in the corridor at the moment, Manalizer, aren't they? For, for better or worse. 8654, Manalizer 2719. If you're just joining us, Manalizer kick two goals straight after the halftime siren to get their first two of the afternoon. Bomb Beach have been well on top. We've got another stoppage inside the middle of the circle here. Great crowd in for this final in the MPNFL. Haven't seen finals in Division 1 for a couple of years, boys, but Bomb Beach are well on top with Armitage going with the barrel inside forward 50, putting it out in front of Shane McDonald. Can he run onto it? This is just class by McDonald. He goes over the back, gets the ball going forward. But it trickles out and we'll get a throw in. So the setup of that stoppage, they're looking at a free David Armitage at their attacking side of the stoppage. This is Ben Eliza. And they just let him go free, just as a sweeper. That's mind-boggling to me. He was able to mop up, and this is why they've got a boundary throw in. Sloppy. Bomb Beach by 35 points. It's two goals to one in this third quarter. In favour of Ben Eliza as they go out towards half-back. And somehow he got... Got in line of that mark, Jordan Captain. He took the mark. He seemed to be out of that contest, but took the mark. He went out towards centre wing. He was looking out there for Finlay Bay. Brilliant. Good tackle of Oh, you've got, got to reward that. And that should have been holding the ball. The man lies the crowd wanted. The umpire said, no, there's going to get holding the ball now. And it is better late than never, bossy. That's probably true, too. Finlay Bay's got it. Goes in short. Mark has been taken by Tom Small. They can get it and go, he may analyze that go to the back of the goal square. You've got two out the back with the ball didn't bounce out the back. It went off to the side and the ball now over the line. Taken over the line then for Bomb Beach for a boundary throw in. Isn't Finlay Bain so much more of a dangerous player when he's getting the ball and delivering it forward to centre? In the second quarter, they had four or five touches in the back pocket. They weren't really going anywhere much more threatening in this quarter and he's next to Jackson Casey which you love to see. When he played the early in the year against Frankston he had about 46 touches in his BOG that day. It helps that there. he's getting him in the forward half uh, boys because uh, Bomb Beach had it all there way much more in dangerous. the first uh, half so the ball comes out kill that lamb of the variety ball out in front just bouncing around spalls over it Skaglarini he's going to get a kick on the left foot to the 2v1 and Williams win out Corrigan for Bomb Beach He's going to go on his left. He goes over the top, look for Verma. He just uses his body. Balls in in his hands. He just stands up the tackle. Player for Bomb Beach and Douglas goes forward. Yeah, turn it over. Standing in the hole with Zach Rouse for Mount Eliza. They've got the players out here. They can get and go, and they have. They're looking for Scaglarini, who's out in the wing. The better ball movement from Mount Eliza. They want to go back in board. They want to use their angles. They do so now. They've found Small in the middle of the ground. They've got Bailey Welsh on the far side and they've gone to him. They can get it over to Price. They're out, but he steps and goes himself. He goes long. Who's at the back? Finn Bain standing in the hole. He's he's quite been, yeah, he's been really composed down back. Short today, Corrigan. Been fantastic. Goes in short to Armitage. Armitage has in short. Now Mark take them on Mitch Jenner left half back. It hasn't been his most prolific day, but then again, it hasn't really had to be, has it? Mitch Jenner, you're talking about? Yep. Yeah, so first of all, 
first 10 minutes or so he was well and truly involved in the game but since then probably you're right on that score Jazz just the ball is at half back just defensive side of centre wing and Franklin Bond Beach will go forward with a kick towards half forward looking there for Shane McDonald but the ball went through his hands ball comes to the back and the umpire has said throw it back into play right in front of the Premier Traditional Home scoreboard which reads 54 Bond Beach man Eliza on 19 we've played 11 and a half minutes in this the third quarter thanks also to Chisholm Sports Academy pro finish roofing WorkSafe and a number of other sponsors for making this possible as the ball goes out. Leading the race for it is Waterstone, but it trickles out when they're throwing. Losses being Wet Rock. Uh, I reckon that's about 8 to 2 in the clearances for Manalizer this quarter. And what the positive is, is they've got to risk losing this game in order to win it, so they're going to keep attacking, keep going as directly as they can. But I agree with you, Vossi. Where was it in the first half? Ball thrown in. We're on the wing here. Craig Beck Oval. Casey has the footy. To Craig O, who's at Chelsea right now. Uh, thanks, boys. Uh, we're coming uh, into the third quarter. It's a goal piece in the third quarter. McDonald for Somerville and uh, Black Feature's second goal for Lad Warren. Current score, Lad Warren 10 363. Uh, Somerville's 5 2 32. Thanks, mate. We'll check in once again in a little bit of longer. There's Price from Analyzer. He's got his head over the footy. He goes with a clever hand pass out to O'Neill. Who can run onto it? Good tackle applied by Corrigan, who's had some game for Bomb Beach. What was the score, Craig? I just mentioned. So it was 10 goals to 5. Five goal lead to Lang Warren. I just want someone to believe in me as much as Sus believes in Lang Warren losing. I think that's what I'm looking for. Just in life in general, in the, uh, the social circles. Cuddle's looking for another cuddle. No, nah, not at all. Nah, I'm good. Try right, that captain. Yeah. I'll, I'll take captain. Yeah. It can go either way. They yeah. might think I am the captain. Uh, well, I'd be wrong, but that's all right. <laughs> uh, he's, he's in a, he's, the position of power in the back of the uh, in the back of the van right now is just shining through. The, pre the president of the peninsula. Let us know who's in charge. It's, right, it's going to be a chief and a captain. And they've got the deck hands. Oh boy, the hierarchy I'm has not, been I'm set. I'm not doing too much scrapping at the moment. <laughs> sure. no. the balls inside the four fifty for Manalizer. Umpire circles. We're going to get a throw up once again. Been really impressed with Manalaza. I know it's a long way to come back, and I'm not suggesting that something remarkable is going to happen. But off the they're, fence, guys. No, they're doing everything that we asked of them at half time. Can't give a bigger tick than that. So, I've got the quick kick away there. The ball kicked across the face. It's going to be interesting to see what happens here. Boy, at 50 cents each way, then the umpire. Points have scored. There are only two goals in this, the third quarter. Knocked down by Hewlett. Free kick. Carry to go here to Bomb Beach. Feeling the frustration of the crowd just to the right of the van, and I think they've got a case to be made there. Might have been tackled a bit before he got the footy, but. Jackson Case has been a good player this afternoon. See, so this is better for Manalizer defensively, too. They've just been allowed to walk the ball out, Bomb Beach, not on this occasion. Case goes long. Down towards. Oi! Jump. You've got to pay that. There he goes. And he's no sleep mark of the day, that one. Oh, absolutely. Will Antony's been good, but I think it's about time he needs to go forward and, and just present a bit of a target at centre half forward. They're lacking something here, man. Eliza, as the ball goes inside their forward 50. Williams, he's over at Corrigan for Bomb Beach. He's stripped. O'Neill. Oh, how'd he get that much space? He goes by hand. He was looking for Kelly. He lays it. Oh, that's oh, that's great tackle. Great tackle. Thomas Kelly needs to go back and to put another goal on the board for Manalizer with Mitchell there being their third. So it's currently Bomb Beach 8 6 54, Manalizer 2 7 19. We've played 15 minutes in the third quarter. He's powerful back to the uh, top of his mark there. Tom Kelly, no thought of passing this off and just the same as Trent Dennis Lane from pretty much this exact spot. Inside of the left hand goal post, let the ball have its natural left to right swing and they'll get their third. Good walking as well, he's got plenty of momentum. Oh, he's just gone the starter step, that's not always... Third quarter, they're running out, scored. The opposition... Come on, Tommy. Bye. Talk, talk oh, up, boys. Talking up, Tommy. Uh, 
2854, so it's actually there. So I scored them by seven points in this quarter. It was an opportunity to get a goal closer. I don't think you're allowed to bring your own footy from home, but I'm pretty sure Jackson Casey's done that. He's had a fantastic day, hey. hasn't he? So, Bob Beach just, just taking this thing out of it, just having a few possessions of the ball, and still only considered the two goals he scored, and while they've scored one, that's a possible turnover in from out Eliza, and the opportunity for them to go back forward with a kick towards the centre wing. The kick went in with this, might get turned over here if they're not careful. No, in fact, to get the ball out, and go long towards centre half forward. No mark taken. Oh, almost running onto the ball. There was some out of the line from Tom Small, but it went away from him. He was running, in, running into an open goal there, AJ, and it was all to, all to do, and he just unfortunately didn't keep a handle on the ball. Yeah, you're right, Fossey. Ball's out on the back flank on the far side with Sam Gilbert. The ever experienced Sam Gilbert, former St Kilda player, but he's turned that footy over. And the player there in Jordan Rouse was able to get a hand in, has gone over the boundary line on the far wing. So let's be the romantics at the moment and say that Mount Eliza are in with a big, big, big chance. What's the three-quarter time margin got to be for them to set themselves up, boys, do we think? They've got to make the margin, I reckon, within three under, goals. Under four. Under four? Okay. AJ, you agree with that? Yeah, absolutely. I was going to go four, so the ball's out, but this has been a movement out in front of the player in Calvin Lee for Bond Beach. The man with the flowing locks goes in looking for a target. Trent Dennis Lane just staying down. Who can crumb? Let's dribble it out and we'll get a throw in inside the Bond Beach board. 58 6 54, Manalizer 2 8 20, Premier Traditional Home Scoreboard. So for Bond Beach right now, they probably know that they're only back to back goals away from really putting the game away, if we're being completely honest. And like I said, I've admired what Manalizer have done, but if they create a challenge as we see a goal go through, maybe? No? No. Uh, just he's had that uh, on the line and, and taken through for a point so much. There's 35 points. 8755 analyzer 2820. 18 minutes in the third quarter. So, in my reckoning, Battle Eyes have got to outscore them by two goals in the last seven or so minutes in this quarter. To be a chance going into the last quarter at the moment, it's Bomb Beach still in control. There's a kick by Verma, it was towards half forward, Mark Taker, and it's been taken by William Dunn. Not the greatest of kicks, and in fact, it's been knocked towards the line and goes over. Bombay 24 to Lippert. Now, I said no. Throw it back into play. Half four. Thank you for Bombay. You're up by 55 to 20 on the Premier Traditional Home Scoreboard. Maybe a special mention to the Sewers Group and uh, the Waste Management and Recovery Section. Yeah, absolutely. I think they'll be um, one of the favourites of, of days. They're getting plenty of work. The old there. Oh, well done. That's better by O'Neill. The pickpocket has been able to intercept his. They run in and kick it, son. Oh. He goes in with a shot at goal, but he's pushed it to the yeah. far side, chastising himself too, and, and rightly so. Should have done a buddy Franklin there and just basically ran away from his opponent, just really just backed himself in there, uh, Daz. Yeah, absolutely. Probably could have gone in either a bit closer or he had to slow himself down. He was kicking at full pace, and you're a little bit more out of control. This is a beautiful kick in from Corrigan and Mitch Jen. I'm going with the boys so far. My leader for the Jones Lapino best on ground. Sean Corrigan. 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 Yeah, same for you. Bit of love for the defenders because I still think Kate McKenzie had a uh, really good argument last week. But good to see you're on board with the boys down back, AJ. It's not that I wasn't uh, no, you on were. board. No, you were. No, you were. He wasn't uh, best on ground no, in my were. opinion. No, you were, you were off it. That's all right. Better late than never. Don't care. It's a big inside attacking 50. The ball knocked away. Over the line for a boundary thrown. Left forward pocket here for Bomb Beach. They lead by 34 points. We're 20 minutes into the third quarter. So just got to try and maintain this lead going into three quarter time. And the odds will be very short on them winning this game in the last quarter. They've been control of it at the moment. Mount Eliza need to hit the scoreboard at least two more times in this quarter to get goals, but balls at the wrong end of the ground at the moment. Mount 
equaliser, scoring those two goals inside the first probably three minutes of the corner. And since then, Bomb Beach's defence has been well on top, AJ. Absolutely, they look a lot more dangerous around these forward 50 stoppages. Bomb Beach goes through for Calvin Lee for Bomb Beach. They get that goal, they go up to 9-7. Bossy, you, you're only a quarter a uh, bit delayed there, mate. I was I was knocking on the door in the second quarter. Well, she went away there for a bit. No, uh, did not go away. It's been uh, knocking around the whole time. They've not wavered. Bomb Beach have clearly been the better side all day there, out to a 40-point lead this game. In the third quarter, it's been going nearly 20 and 21 and a half minutes. And to be honest, Bomb Beach get one more, you may as well just shut the doors. Yeah, absolutely. It'll be the nail in the coffin. So the winner, which it's going to be Bomb Beach, will take on Frankston YCW next week. Yeah, it looks like Mount Eliza will take on the winner of Germana and Frankston Bombers tomorrow. So ball back to the middle and a high kick for Bomb Beach by Sam Gilbert. It was towards the half forward area. Taken. I reckon that Shane Tennant's probably first or, un or second uh, in set mark for the day, boys. Yeah, I reckon you're right. So Jordan Rouse has got it at half back here from Mount Eliza. Looking to try and move things on, but Bomb Beach just manning them up and doing a good job at doing so at the moment. Good mark taken. He's been good across half back as well, Nick Waterston. The old wet rock. Bossy's man. Can you call him wet rock though? Because it isn't water wet. Yeah. Like, wouldn't you be going something else? Well, uh, water. But don't get me started. But water's not wet. It creates wet things. Well, it's what they're telling. Well, I'm telling you, that's what they call it. That, that's what that's okay. what his name's been that's, for a while. So I'm just right. telling by what they what no worries, he's been called. So I'll back in. Yeah, well, you got some news up at uh, Chelsea. No, just listening to the fascinating coach to over there. Chelsea. Well, we are. Quarter, three goals, one quarter, two, Lane Warren, 12-4, 76, 3, 3, 3. So it looks like Lane Warren are going to get over the line. That's been knocking since the first quarter, Vossi, I reckon. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm just jumping on there, that's all right. Bo Bailey, he goes up the line, finding his target. He's been good today, Bo Bailey. He has just found well. Armitage. In front of the Premier Traditional Home Scoreboard that reads 97621, 29 21. 40 point margin to a Bomb Beach. That's a great kick by Armitage in short to Bo Bailey. Can go back and kick this. So they've only had five more scoring shots, Bomb Beach. So per scoring shot is coming up eight points. That's a disaster. Right to the line, that's scored through, and I think the, the biggest thing and the positive for Bomb Beach is uh, Trent Dennis Lane has only kicked two, McDonald has uh, kicked one, so they haven't had to rely on those guys too much, also Joe Fisher just with the one, they've had multiple uh, goal scorers. Yeah, I like it, and they're going to be able to take that into the Stone Cats and know that they're not just a, a one or a, a two trick pony, so they'll get a lot out of this performance so far for sure. So Finn Bain turns the ball over, he's found Bo Bailey once again. On the far side here, Greg Beck over home of the Frankston Bombers. He's going to drive it long inside, forward 50, looking for Trent Dennis Lane, who almost sits on Shane Tennant's head. Ball comes over the top. But down to Tony, he goes with an absolute shot. That can't be deliberate. No, it can't be. It's the, it's the boundary, I the I'm sorry, starts with one thing to bring it up, and then he brings them together to signal the, uh, the throw in. Absolutely, ball thrown back in. Good body work from the man Eliza Ruckman in Jordan Rouse. Ball oh, comes up. That's an absolute water swing. stone. Sorry, the player there, it was right. <laughs> and calling for a stoppage there. Got an injured player just in the back. I reckon that's... Reversals in for Zola. Pretty Jack similar. Jack he has the footy in the middle of the ground, goes to Armitage, he feigns one off, and he pulls over. He's just a calamity of errors here at the moment. This is all happening. I hope Benny Hill music's not copyrighted, otherwise, we're in big, big, big trouble. Oregon, once again, 
tapping the goes with a chiseler inside, looking for Casey. He found him. Armitage, he's just racking them up here. He goes out wide, but it's Cole. Declan Variety who gets a hand in from Analyzer. He goes over the top looking for O'Neill, but Nick Waterston over the back. That is a great mark. He's been really impressive too. Got a hard hit early, went off the ground, mm. come back on, has been very solid in defence. So Waterstone goes long, down towards centre wing, mark taken. Going back with the fly to the ball and they can play on here. Bond Beach, they go inside, attacking 50. Looking for perhaps a late third quarter goal. Still might be an opportunity for them. As the mark wasn't taken, wasn't the bonus to kicks. Now the ball has been blocked by the umpire, centre half 40 for Bond Beach. They lead at the 20. Eight, uh, sorry, 26 and a half at a mark of the third quarter. They lead 9.862. Mount Eliza 2.921. And this game is... Is, well, this game, it, it is. It's a case of just trying to get through that last quarter and making sure that there's no... This will be a modern-day miracle, Michael Voss, if yeah. they get back. This oh. has got Miracle on Grass, Brisbane, Geelong, 2013, written all over it if they get across the line here. And courtesy of Bendigo Bank, Port Adelaide, uh, West Coast, up by kick on Port Adelaide in the AFLW. So, Bond Beach doing fantastically well here this afternoon and Wang Warren well in control of their game as well. Just a reminder, we'll be at Rose Park tomorrow for the elimination final between Dramana and Kingston Bombers. But at three-quarter time, that quarter went 27 minutes. And welcome back. As the siren sounds for the fourth quarter, ball thrown up, Ruckman do battle. Gilbert comes down with it. He gets a quick kick going forward inside forward 50. Dennis Lane and Simmons. Ball goes out to Welsh. Tennant. Over to Rouse. Back over to Welsh. Forward to Scaglarini. He goes by foot. Looking for a target. He finds one. Probably been the best for Manalizer, Scaglarini. Yep. And Elliot Simmons, got to give him credit. There was the pressure on the kick coming in. And he was able to put the, his defensive dance on the contest. Absolutely, as the umpire calls for it in the middle of the ground. The problem that he's had all day, of course, is that the service to TDL for the entirety of the game has been better than first class. Skagurani goes with a long ball inside, forward 50. Who can stand up and take a mark, but it's not going to be for Mount Eliza. Bomb Beach are going to repel this. They're going to look in for Jackson Casey. Ball turned over. No, can't be doing that. There, but Bomb Beach were too good. Come out wide to Corrigan. He wants to go over the top and find Gilbert back intercepting the mark. Is Welsh. He goes in short. Ball through the hands of Small. Luckily, he had Cole standing there behind him. That's an ugly feeling in footy, isn't it? When you're handballing to a teammate who is instantly put under pressure. So Bond Beach by 41 points, early stages of the last quarter of the qualifying final for 2022. A high kick it was for the for Mount Eliza by Tom Small, it was towards half forward. Bond Beach defence is trying to bust all their way through, the umpire says I'm going to ball it up. So, courtesy of Bendigo Bank, yeah, FLW half time, Port Adelaide in their first game. All tied up with West Coast. So if Port can get over the line in Aaron Phillips's debut in a club debut, of course, that would be a big, big moment for that footy club. The inspirational Aaron Phillips. Their new club. Super job being a face to that club is an opportunity for McDonald to go in short. Smothered off the belt. Why is he kicking by Shane McDonald? He's got that one back, but he's not going to get it. I think it hit the umpire in the back. Well, I think so. Well, the umpire should have called it back if that was the case. Um, there is a kick out by Finlay Bay now towards centre wing. Taken in from out of line so they can go towards centre half forward. They'll be going back and taking the mark in defence. And aside from that three minute Ooh, period. Someone's the, down. Aside from that three minute uh, period in the third quarter when Mount Eliza kicked their only two goals of the game. It has been an absolute drought for them in their forward line. 2-9-21. They trial Bomb Beach 9862 and Bomb Beach just have all the answers, AJ. Absolutely right. They've gone in board and found right. He goes over the top. Doesn't do a thing wrong. Waterstone. Crickets. Absolute crickets. Yeah, we got you there, Daz. Not one of your finest. <laughs> Balls out the far side. That's the title of my autobiography to be released when I get a bit more important. Not one of my finest. So Bomb Beach have it right next to the Premier Traditional Home Scoreboard, which reads 9862, Mentalizer 2921. They've gone in board looking for Mitch Chen, who takes a good mark. 
it's been a real quality, not quantity kind of day for Mitch Jen, hasn't it? Every time he's touched the footy, good things have happened. It just hasn't been his most prolific day, but I still think he's been good. So Jen goes long, looks for Gilbert, and he finds him. Gilbert was a little quick to turn and go. He gets the ball back. He's going to go by foot, which is smothered. And Tony for Man Eliza. He goes by foot, finding Kelly. Kelly goes out wide looking for Declan Cole. He's got it on the wing here. He want to manalise his best. Come on. Come back in board looking for Tom Kelly. He wants his left foot. He goes in with a chisel. And that's a better ball. bit of ball movement. Finding O'Neill. Jeez, he doesn't look confident, does he? Going back. He looks... You've got to settle yourself down. I reckon that's the first good bit of transition going inside forward 50 for Manalyzer. And yeah, they were able to come in board and then go, didn't they? So ball over the back. And it's taken through. So Manalyzer will go to 212, 20, uh, 210, 22, sorry. And 9862 reach Bombay. Only five more, sorry, also only five more scoring shots. It's, uh, it's difficult to believe that. That means Corrigan takes the mark once again, goes out towards the half-back line. The mark has been taken once again. Bomb Beach is just happy to just take away time off the clock. And they go towards the interchange bench side of the ground, so right up near the netball courts. Just doing as they please at the moment. Just taking the time away and analyzing with that feeling. The, the feeling is there. It's just like you're sinking into the scene at the moment. And as this result's done, it's playing out the time to see how well they can uh, get close on the scoreboard. But Will Anthony with the ball at half back. Oh, jeez, he's a bit stiff. I think his foot touched the line just a little bit. Tony. He's had a couple of those moments where things haven't quite gone his way today. Another good grab by Ben McLean. He's been fantastic down back for Bond Beach. I know where the ball winners are going to dominate and probably going to dominate the brief during the week. Their defensive six have been absolutely outstanding. So Bo Bailey goes back finding the player there in Corrigan. He comes back out this side looking for the man in McLean. He's been giving an arm shot there. Come on, guys. Definitely there. No, not going there, Bossy. So McLean goes wide. They're just all lining up here, Bomb Beach. They've gone in short. They've found the captain in Jackson Casey. Very good early. He goes by foot looking for the champion in Shane McDonald. Well, we just know this kick's going to be good. It's not often he has two stinkers in a row, even if the first one did hit the umpire. So he goes long, driving it down to the Fisher direction. He's just out muscled. And oh no, Rouse saw Armitage standing there, so he puts himself under a fair bit of pressure. Welsh goes out, goes back to McDonald. He just goes with a little bit of a volleyball spike. Gilbert has it now. He comes back in looking for Casey. No mark taken. Back to McDonald. He goes with a sweeping hand back out to Mitch Jen. He goes with a chisel looking for Trent Dennis Lane. No mark taken once again. Ball's on the ground. So Lee over the top by hand. Dennis Lane shot at goal. And it has gone through for a behind in the post. Bomb Beach go to 9-9-9-63. Nine, 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 Manalyzer 2-10-22. Bossy. Yep, a margin of 41 points in the qualifying final. And no doubt YCW will be watching. And take this down. There's a quick kick by Waterstone towards the top of the square. I'm sure that that was actually touched there by the Metalized defence, but it wasn't. It's been taken and a shot of goal to take place here for Long Beach. Of course, Trent Dennis Lane, known to Sydney fans for his last quarter against Carlton. In, I reckon, 2013. I wonder if he kicks his goal. I wonder if he'll uh, turn around and just celebrate with the crowd, perhaps. But I thought you were going to go with celebrating with you, Fossey. You're that big of a figure in the NFL. Uh, well, 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 yeah. well, yeah. I'm not sure if Bond Beach and Mornington are the uh, two suburbs that should be merging, but... Uh, 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 u
the opposition have made the finals for a reason. Even though they're without their inspirational leader tomorrow, Billy Quigley. There's a short pass from the mark that's been taken at centre half back. Not going away from their game plan, are they at all? Bond Beach, they're still spreading the ground, still finding their target, still looking to score. I love it. Short pass, mark taken. Just off the centre of the ground now, the kick goes down towards the lead, half forward. Ball comes to the back, it's taken away here by Mount Eliza. It might have been Anthony, got it over towards Finlay Bone, who's got it. Left half forward, they can play on here, they go in short. The mark has been taken, still 60 out from goal. Now kick towards the head, Wereni has got it. He's kicking a bit out from goal, he's too far out I reckon. Can manipulate the stand rule. So Skag Lorini goes in towards the forward pocket and it goes towards towards that uh, the toilet area, that lonely toilet up there in the forward pocket here in Creek Bank Oval. Bomb Beach leading by 41 points. We're halfway through the last quarter and they're up uh, 69 points to 28. I think Frankston are going to need some more leaders in their community if we're going with the toilet and goodness me, but... I think that was a, a ploy by Scagliarini to get it to the pocket and lock the ball in their forward half because he clearly didn't have the distance in him. And that's OK. As the ball's come up to the wing for Bomb Beach, they're going for Owen Hewlett. Ball's going to be out of throwing. Really impressive. Really impressive performance for Bomb Beach. They've professionally gone about their business. Don't mind the move of Will Antoni into the ruck. Probably would have liked to see him at centre half forward. He, he had a good game against Germana at centre half forward. They haven't had an option. It's been late made. They've made a few opposition players from the Bomb Beach Football Netball Club. Armitage is going to give away a free kick for a sling tackle. Yeah, silly. Big groggy. Jordan Captain. He's had a pretty different game. from David Armitage. So, he's called to play on. He's going to use his leg speed over Owen Hewitt. He goes with a bit of a scrubber, but it's going to work potentially if it sits. Oh, clever. And it has been made Bain. He goes out wide. He's found Kelly. He wants to go on his left, but he goes by hand back over to Finlay Bain. Goes in short, looking for a target, but it's going to be repelled by Bomb Beach. They've come out the broadcast side, looking for Armitage. They've got numbers if they can get it further afield to Gilbert. Oh, oh stayed in. Oh, very, very smart football by him, Gilbert. He comes back in ball. This is all right, Trevor's right there. Oh, oh, it's up now. Looking for Miss Gent in board. Shane Tennant goes at him. Hard for Bomb Beach, locks it in, and we're going to get a stoppage. About centre half forward, heading towards the Bomb Beach goals end. I reckon uh, TDL might have just gone off for the for the last bit of this quarter, just ice him up. Yeah, just having him reserve. Oh, Gilbert coming through. He goes with a left foot check side, top of the goal square. Who's going to take it? There and better than his opponent there in Bailey Welsh. Yeah, as soon as Welsh looked for his opponent instead of the ball, he was done really, really smart. Just was able to slip underneath him, saw when his opponent took his eyes off the footy, went at the footy, and it was an uncontested mark in the end because Welsh was on the back foot. Calvin Lee has one this afternoon. He's lining up for his second. He's had a lot of tackles today. He's looking to extend the, the margin for Bomb Beach. He goes in, makes the goal up by work a bit. That's a goal. He's kicked it. <laughs> I don't think that was a goal because Calvin Lee just put his hands on his head and threw his head back. Might have looked like he thought it was going over the post, but he trusts the goal umpire's judgment. There's no percentage in final, so it doesn't make too much of a difference. No, it doesn't, but you can usually tell by the, uh, mm. the, the way that the goal kicker celebrates or doesn't. And uh, he just threw his head back, Daz. So, I mean, you know, a dead giveaway. Well, I think you might be all right, but, you know, we'll go to the left, 47 point margin for Bond Beach. 18 minutes to the last quarter, Bond Beach. Going to advance to second.
second semi-final. Mandalay's not going to do it the hard way, going by the first semi-final to potentially get to another grand final. Free kick. Go to Mandalay. It's a Fenway Bain with a quick kick. Anthony's got it now. Long kick towards full forward. It's going to be marked. The top of the goal square there for Bomb Beach. The short pass comes in and Bo Bailey takes the mark. Just so impressed with Bomb Beach's back six. They've been composed. They've been really, really good back shoulder. And the way that their midfielders have been able to spread because of that, they haven't had to go and help their defenders out as much as maybe the ones that have. They've been able to flourish and attack with vigour, which they have in kicking 11 goals nine. Bit of a St Hilda reunion next week, of course, with uh, Dylan Robinson on the other side. And AJ? Absolutely, you're right, Vossi. There's a few ex and Kilda players fighting around the competition. It's great to see these guys putting their hands up and getting down here and playing this competition. Sam Hill would play, what, he must have played close to 250, I reckon. He certainly played over 200. Yeah, I think you're right. So... I think David Armitage won a best and fairest, didn't he? Oh, I reckon he, he could. He could very well have, actually. One thing I know about David Armitage, whenever he played AFL, his hair was always very well uh, groomed for the occasion. As the long kick by McDonald, Shane McDonald all full forward, it bounces in the square, bounces off. A quick kick around the corner, it's going to be cut off there from Mount Eliza, and they will clear down the line, down towards centre wing, going up, Waterstone couldn't take the mark. Ball goes over for a boundary throw, and so we're about to hit time on the last corner. It is Bomb Beach 11 9 75. Premier Traditional Home Scoreboard Mandalizer 3 goals 10 28. Last quarter, qualifying final, and Bomb Beach well in control. Clearing kick from Bomb Beach from the stoppage. Bo Bailey, can he run onto it? Pushes his man in Finn Bain into the contest. He has it. Goes over to Bailey Welsh. As we've mentioned, probably Mandalizer's best today for mine. Over to Declan Cole. He goes in with a short one. Standing in the way was Armitage. He gets it. A little touch in that one. Right for Bomb Beach. Gaglarini tries to exit the stoppage. That's out the ball. And that will be rewarded for a great tackle by Stenning for Bomb Beach. So I've got it for you, Vossi. 2015, David Armitage finished second in St Kilda's best and fairest. So didn't take home a first placing, but a second in his best year. So a fantastic achievement, isn't it? Absolutely, 167 games for the former Saints. So Verma goes wide, finding Jackson Casey, who then goes on board looking and finding Will Dunn. How many for Sam He's Dilbert? gone in and he's found Sullivan. Balls that, Wilson? Sam Dilbert, how many games? I'll get the old uh, Google machine out for you, Vossi, and let you know. So you get two a lot less games. Have you, have you got a guess for me? I reckon I reckon that would close to 250. 208 games for Sam Gilbert. I certainly knew it was more than 200. I thought it was a few more than that. But Ball thrown in. Hammond gets a quick clearing kick for Man Eliza. Standing in the way was Douglas of Bomb Beach. Inside 50 they go once again. They've been fantastic, Lee. He gets a clearing kick. It's Simmons standing in the way. And Dennis Lane back on the ground off notice, so they're not resting him up for, for next week. He's going to play the game out. It shouldn't be too long left. There haven't been a whole lot of stoppages compared to previous quarters. Simmons, he brings the ball back in. He's found Shane Tennant. And, of course, you can catch us on our social media. And, of course, all things after the game it will be coming on our socials as well. So RPP FM, especially on Facebook, go give us a like, go follow, whatever the buttons ask you to do, you can keep up to date with all things RPP FM. Absolutely. We're your, we're your one-stop shop for local football, no doubt about that. As a free kick in that rap contest against Will Anthony is the free kick, and the Bomb Beach side will go and try and get one more goal in the day just to try and... Um, Drop a little bit more salt into the metalizer wounds. Ball goes over the line for boundary throwing right in front of actually too happy with me there, actually, AJ. Oh, someone else. Does that mean we get individual skip bins, or you're not telling me Vossi and I are in the same skip bin, are we, Captain? Oh, no, 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 def no, definitely, definitely separate ones. <laughs> High kick by I'm, Mitch Jen. I'm a good cuddler, Vossi. Well, AJ said, AJ said you were. You could do worse. So 
So Shane McDonald trying to charge through there. Ball comes out there, it comes towards Verma, it goes in short. Looking for a teammate there in Murray, but it's taken away by Jordan Captain, and the ball goes out towards centre wing. They can get the ball and going over the top. And now another one, a hand pass, ball at half forward. The umpire's given something back behind the play here, and it's a free kick. It's going to go back to Mount Eliza, back behind where they were. It was almost a shame to break up that momentum, wasn't it? Their overlap run, their transition was really, really good there from Mount Eliza. Barton is 48 points in the match of the day. So Mount Eliza go out wide. Just finding Kelly. He's lifted in this last quarter. That's no avail. Just tuning in, haven't heard the score. Man Eliza 28. Bomb Beach 11 10 76. It's Kelly, he finds Scaglarini with a great kick inboard. And he can go back and line up for their fourth of the afternoon. He plays on, gets a bit of distance. Well, no, because that is a horrendous kick. It kind of sums their day up, doesn't it? Out of bounds on the full, and Bomb Beach will once again be able to repel from their defensive 50. Well, was a. Tough cut of lamb, wasn't it, Rossi? It was an absolute shame. Wasn't his best effort, that's for sure. So, an opportunity now for... I was happy with my own one, Pepper, but... I did, I did. You're going for those little changes, Dad. What's he doing? He's just trying to throw us under the bus, is he? I don't think he wants to throw us under the bus. He just wants a big cuddle. Just, they want, just want to make you laugh, entertain the people. Leave it, leave it to the funny people. So, boundary up high to throw the ball back into play half forward from Mount Eliza. And he scored the three goals for the day and the day they certainly will put down as one that they'd rather forget. Jordan Tapkin, he was smothered as he tried, he was, sorry, he was tackled as he tried to get rid of that ball and the ball was dropped short and an opportunity for Bond Beach to get the ball in the centre of the ground now through the agency of Mitch Jen. A hand pass over the top and going around there was Verma. He gets the hand pass off now, quick kick towards Bailey, who goes backwards. They're just fiddling around with it, but they're just making sure that they're using the old philosophy that if we're not scoring, well, you're certainly not scoring the Mount Eliza at the moment. Quick kick inside towards about 35 metres out from goal. Joseph Fisher tried to charge through, tried to break through two tackles. And guess what? He got help holding the ball. Did everything right there. Kept the ball in front of him. He just didn't get it on the boot quick enough. You can forgive a player for that. So Price has it for Man Eliza. He goes up looking for Scaglarini and finds him. He goes with a bit of a horrendous kick. He didn't even watch that ball in front. Then he turned his back on it. He knew how bad he did it. No, oh, would you? No, oh, boy. That's got a bit of my golf swing about it. Unbelievable. Eliza 3 10 28 and it has been all one-way traffic in this encounter so Bomb Beach will go on play YCW next week boys but uh, for Man Eliza they'll face either Frankston Bombers or Dramata who play off tomorrow let's get some final thoughts in the next couple of minutes before we wrap it up boys Daz your final thoughts Oh, just a massive amount of credit to Bond Beach. I thought they did everything right, even in those...